<laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's just so poetic. Uh, uh, hello, and welcome to an all-new episode of Just the Dumbest. I'm Hot Toddy. If you're not familiar with the show, what we do is we talk about some of ju uh, 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 just the dumbest things in the world. <laughs> just like this on-air sign that keeps going in and out. But we also talk about some of the dumbest criminals, some of the dumbest products, some of the dumbest beauty trends, like we talked about last time, and this go-around is no different. There are things that exist that you don't know exist, and one of those things are laws. That's right. There are laws that are so bizarre, it would make one's head spin, but believe it or not, they exist, they're real, and even though they may not be enforced, it's technically illegal if you do these things. So that is why this week's episode is called Just the Dumbest Laws. Laws. There are so many that are important, not just in this country, but around the world, that we follow on a daily basis to keep our society moving correctly. Now, there are some laws that are up for question. Should mask mandates be laws? Should vaccinations be laws? Texas, I'm sorry, I have to come at you a little bit. I would completely disagree with your new abortion laws. I do believe in a woman's right to choose. You know, there's a lot of laws that you can talk about, that you can have dialogue about, try to figure out one way or the other if it's the right way to go or not. However, there are some laws out there that make absolutely no sense. Maybe it made sense at the time, but it absolutely makes no sense now, and they are still enforced, or at least they still exist. For instance, let's begin in the state of Alabama. In the state of Alabama, silly string is prohibited. That's right, silly string is, is illegal, specifically in Mobile. It's illegal to keep, store, use, manufacture, sell, offer for sale, give away, or handle spray string or snap pops. Just word of warning, if you're an international spray string smuggler, you might not want to go through Alabama. Let's head on over to the West Coast, where we'll find California's strange law, no eating frogs that die in frog jumping contests. So if you have a frog jumping contest in California and that frog dies, you better damn well not eat them. Do not eat those legs, arms, head. Do not eat the frog whatsoever, okay? According to the state law, a person is allowed to possess any number of frogs, live frogs that is, for frog jumping contests. But if a frog dies or is killed, it must be destroyed as soon as possible and may not be eaten or otherwise used for any purpose. So you've been warned. If you've got frogs in California, you better keep them alive. And if they die, you better dispose of them quick. We're talking real fast. Zero to 100 real quick. And if I see you eating them, I'm turning your ass in. It's just the way it's going to be. Let's come back over here to the East Coast. We're going to go to Kentucky now. And in Kentucky, there are no reptiles allowed in church services. That's right. Uh, actually, this is kind of a law I would like to stick to because I don't want to go to any church and somebody pulls out a freaking python. I'd, re I'd rather not see that. Or, or worse, a copperhead because, you know, we live in the south, so I don't, I don't want to see that either. If you're caught using a reptile in a religious service in Kentucky, you could face a fine or more than $50. So we're talking a harsh penalty here. This law likely originated to address the practice of snake handling, uh, which developed in the early 20th century in some isolated churches. So, if, look, if you're like a, if, if, if you're just a side of the road church, or you're one of these like Joel Osteen churches, I better not see any reptiles in there. Or no, I guess if you're Joel Osteen, I don't know where, I don't know where he's, where is he? Where is he done? Is he, I have no idea. Texas, probably. It's always, it always goes back to you, Texas. Damn you, Texas! Listen, we all like to have fun in in our younger years. You know, you you may have done some things you're not proud of. Maybe one of those things scarred you for life. In that, you may have a a disease that's been given to you by by another party. No fault of your own. These things happen. But in the state of Nebraska. You will not be allowed to get married if you have a venereal disease. I'm sorry, it's the way it is. It's illegal to get married in Nebraska if you have a venereal disease. The courts have uh, later clarified that if the other spouse is aware of the disease the time at the time of the marriage, 
they can try to annul the marriage later on these grounds. So it's still enforced. I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't rehearse this part. Really? Really? So it's still that's some shit. Screw you, Nebraska. Damn. Let people live their lives. Let venereal disease people live their lives. Now this is very important. This is very important. You you better be listening to me. I'm not I'm not going to repeat myself cuz this is listen to me. If you plan on committing a murder in New Jersey, you better not wear a bulletproof vest. That's right. No bulletproof vests while committing murder in the state of New Jersey. It makes a lot of sense when you say it's New Jersey. <laughs> Sopranos love you. Look, if you're planning to commit a serious crime in New Jersey, leave your bulletproof vest at home. According to the state law, it's a third-degree crime to wear a body vest while engaged in the commission of or attempt to commit or fight after committing or attempting to commit murder. That's a lot of words. Manslaughter, robbery, sexual assault, burglary, kidnapping, criminal escape, or assault. So bottom line... If you're going to be one of the worst people on the frickin' planet, do not wear a bulletproof vest. Show some respect, huh? Let's hightail it over next door to New York. And actually, I can kind of see this one because this is just, like, unnerving unless it's, like, that time of the year, which we're getting close to. But eh, let's still hold off. No mask wearing unless you're at a party. Now, before any... I'm not talking about masks, okay? I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Halloween masks, okay? You can't wear them unless you're going to a party, which means even at Halloween... So do they not trick or treat in New York? I don't know either. But yeah, you're not allowed to wear a mask unless you're going to a party. Uh, it's illegal in New York to be masked or in any manner disguised by unusual or unnatural attire or facial, facial alteration. Well, you've been warned. Still wear these masks, though. Wear these masks, okay? I'm only doing this one because this is Miss Pingrino's home state. It's really, 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 really... Bring it in real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight. Stupid. In the state of Louisiana, you are not allowed to tie your alligator to a fire hydrant. Let me repeat that. You can't tie your alligator to a fire hydrant. Is there anything else based on that? That's a pet alligator. I hate this show sometimes. I really do. It should come as no surprise to you, especially with the Nebraska law, that a lot of these laws are based around sex. Basically. It's, it's all based around sex because they don't want people to be happy whatsoever. Especially in South Carolina. No seducing unmarried women. That's right. If you come across a woman... Wait a minute. You're supposed to seduce a married woman then? That just yeah. that just means adultery. That makes no sense. Okay. But if, you, if, you, if no one has put a ring on it, you're not allowed to say, Hey, I like you. You're going straight... If you do that, you're going straight to jail, buddy. It's a law. It was made into a misdemeanor, apparently. If one seduces an unmarried woman using deception and promise of marriage then you, you're going to jail. The good news is, though, this law was repealed in 2016, so feel free to hit on anybody you want with everybody's consent, though. That's actually a good law, and it's kind of bad that they repealed it. They say you can't seduce her with the promise of marriage. And, like... Who does that? Who walks up to somebody and says, Hey, I'm going to marry you. I'm, Sir, this is a Wendy's. And we'll wrap up this edition of Just the Dumbest with the dumbest law in our beloved state. Home sweet home to me, good old Rocky Top, Tennessee. That's right. The law in Tennessee that makes this weird list is this. You can't hold public office if you've been in a duel. I, I, now, in, in, in like American terms, I'm going to assume that means like a pistol duel uh, where you've killed somebody. Uh, I don't think it means... Like, in this picture, it shows, like, two people 
uh, what fencing and a fencing duel. I don't think that's the same thing. But regardless, according to the Tennessee Constitution, it's in our freaking Constitution, it's illegal to hold public office if a person does one of the following. Fight a duel, or knowledgeably be the bearer of a challenge to fight a duel, or send or accept a challenge for that purpose, or be an aider or a better in fighting a duel. So basically, if you hear the word duel, you better high sprint it out of there, or you ain't never going to be a city alderman. I'm sorry. And there you have it, some of just the dumbest laws. It is kind of incredible what used to offend us back in the day, so much so that we would have to turn it into a law to make us stop doing it. But you can see how bizarre and how stupid they were that we just completely forgot about them, even though they still exist. Did that make sense? I don't know. But that's going to do it for us on this edition of Just the Dumbest. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at SuperFuzz Videos. Make sure you click and subscribe and follow the SuperFuzz Productions YouTube page. That way you can keep up with every episode of not just Just the Dumbest. I said not just Just the Dumbest, but Stump Hot Toddy, Get Real, Let Me Tell You, and so forth. And make sure you check out the SuperFuzz merch shop, which you can find in the About section of our YouTube page. And and of course, all new episodes of the Smokin' Hot Toddcast can be found on our SoundCloud page. You can also find that in the About section. That way you can keep up with every single show that Super Fuzz Productions puts out there. For just the dumbest, I'm Hot Toddy. Good night.